Hello everybody. In this video, we will be solving one-step equations. Specifically, we will be focusing on addition. We are going to use this diagram of the balance beam to show us exactly what we do when we are solving an addition equation. In the example, we have the equation x plus 4 equals 6. On our scale, we have one big green box which represents x and then we've got four orange boxes which represents the four that we're adding to it. On the right hand side we have got six individual boxes which represents the six that it is equals to. So on the left hand side we have four plus x and on the right hand side we have six. The goal that we want to achieve is we want to get x alone but we remember that the equal sign means that our scale must remain balanced. One side cannot be higher than the other. So our objective is to get x alone. To get x alone we are going to take away the orange blocks one at a time. First we take away one orange block on the left hand side. Notice that the right hand side is lower because it's heavier now. What we do on the left hand side, we do on the right hand side. So we take one away on the right hand side. Now it is equal again. We're going to repeat the process. Take a second one away from the left. Take a second one away from the right. Take the third one away from the left. Take the third one away from the right. Take the fourth one away from the left. Take the fourth one away from the right. Now we have achieved our goal. We have got x alone. That is what we wanted to do. What we did was we subtracted 4. These 4 orange ones we took away. It's x plus 4 minus 4. And the minus 4 on the left hand side we do on the right hand side as well. 6 minus 4. x plus 4 minus 4 plus 4 and minus 4 cancel out. So I have the value x on the left hand side and that is equal to, because my scale is balanced, 6 minus 4 which is 2 on the right hand side. My x value is equal to 2. So what did we learn? We learned that if you are doing an additive equation, if you are doing an equation with a plus sign, in order to get rid of everything on the left hand side or on the side with the x, in order to get your x alone, you have to subtract the same number that is on the same side as the x. So x plus 4 minus 4. And if you subtract minus 4 on one side, you have to minus 4 on the other side. This then results in x equals 2. Now let's see if we can do the same step but with bigger numbers. Solve each equation and check your answers. x plus 54 equals 90. So I've got plus 54 here, which means I'm going to say minus 54 minus 54. So now I know that on the left hand side I have x alone x plus 0, so I'm not going to write 0, equals 90 minus 54. How do we do this without a calculator? So I'm going to say 90 minus 54 equals 0 minus 4 cannot work, so I'm going to borrow 10. 9 becomes 8. 10 minus 4 is 6. 8 minus 5 is 3. x equals 36. That's my final answer. Now in order for me to check my answer that it is correct, I'm going to say x plus 54 equals 90. And I'm going to check my left hand side. I substitute this value in. I'm going to say 36 plus 54. Does this equal 90? So let's count. We're going to say 36 plus 54, 6 and 4 is 10, carry 1, 5 and 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 
So on the left hand side I have 90 and on the right hand side I have 90. Yes, left hand side does equal right hand side. My answer is correct. Question 4. 22 plus T equals 91. I want to get rid of this 22. Because there's no sign, I know it's positive 22. So how do I get rid of positive 22? I do the opposite on both sides. So I'm going to say minus 22 and minus 22. 22 minus 22 is 0. So I've got T on the left hand side equals 91 minus 22. Let's calculate. 91 minus 22. 1 minus 2 is not possible. I borrow 10, 8 and 10. 11 minus 2 is the same as saying 10 minus 2 which is 8 plus 1. 11 minus 2 or 10 minus 2 plus 1 is 9. 8 minus 2 is 6. Answer is 69. Let's check. On my left hand side, I've got 22 plus T. On my right hand side, I've got 91. And I want to know, are they equal? So 22 plus 69, is that equal to 91? Let's calculate. 22 plus 69. It's going to be 9 plus 2 is 11, carry 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 91. 91 equals 91. My answer is correct. Question 8. X plus 19 equals 24. We are going to subtract 19 on both sides. So minus 19, minus 19 x plus 0 is equal to what is 24 minus 19. So 4 minus 9 is not possible. I'm going to borrow 1 there and carry 1 over. So 10 minus 9 is 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 14 minus 9 is 5. 1 minus 1 is 0. So our answer says x equals 5. Let's check. On my left hand side, I've got x plus 19. On my right hand side, I've got 24. If I substitute the value 5 for x, 5 plus 19 equals 24. So what is 19 plus 5? That is 20 plus 4, which equals to 24, equals to 24. And that is correct. I've checked my answer. 11, B plus 17 equals 42. Let's subtract 17 on both sides. 42 minus 17 is going to be, 2 minus 7 is not possible. I'm going to borrow 1. So 4 becomes 3. Carry 1 over. 12 minus 7 is the same as 10 minus 7 plus 2. And that is 5. 3 minus 1 is 2. So what we're saying is that B is equal to 25. Let's check. On the left hand side, I have B plus 17. On the right hand side, I've got 42. If B is 25 plus 17, is that equal to 42? So what are we saying? 5 plus 7 is going to be 12, carry 1, 2, 3, 4. 42 equals 42. That is correct. 72 is equal to n plus 51. We want to subtract 51 because we want to get n alone. So we're going to take away the 51 and we do that on both sides. So on the left hand side, we have 72 minus 51. 2 minus 1 is 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. And that equals to n. Let's check our answer. On the left hand side, we have 72. 
on the right hand side we have n plus 51 so if n's value is 21 plus 51, is that equal to 72? That's what we want to find out. So 21 plus 51, 1 plus 1 is 2, 5 plus 2 is 7, and that is equal to 72. So my answer is correct. Solve each equation. You do not need to check. x plus 12 equals 16. Let's subtract 12 on both sides. Remember, we're doing the additive inverse. So in order to get 12 to 1, we're going to do the opposite of plus 12, which is minus 12. We're going to get 12 to 0. So this gives me x equals 6 minus 2 is 4, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So x equals 4. 52. fifty two plus y equals seventy one I want to get rid of the fifty two the additive inverse of fifty two is minus fifty two equals minus fifty two minus fifty two on both sides so that's going to give me y is equal to one minus two is not possible Let's borrow one so seven becomes six 11 minus 2 is the same as 10 minus 2 plus 1. That's 8 plus 1, which is 9. 6 minus 5 is 1. Y equals 19. 125 equals N plus 85. I want to get N alone. The additive inverse for plus 85 is minus 85. That brings it to 0 minus 85 on both sides so 5 minus 5 is 0 2 minus 8 is not possible 12 minus 8 is 4 equals n n equals 40 t plus 17 equals 43 Additive inverse for plus 17 is going to be minus 17. That brings it to 0. And we do that on both sides, minus 17. So t is equal to 4 minus 7 is not possible. I'm going to borrow 10. So 4 becomes 3. 13 minus 7 is 6. And 3 minus 1 is 2. t equals 26. I hope you've understood. Thank you.